I've seen people share the gospel and it's just... We can explain the gospel in a creative way and that's been super cool. There's an initiative called TUG. TUG stands for the ultimate goal and the thinking was that we would align ourselves with the Soccer World Cup and use soccer and also the creative arts as a, a way of outreach. They have festivals where they get guys involved and they do entertainment, they get on a stage, they, they sing a bit, there's clowns, there's like a festive uh, spirit with that. All the churches here in Newlands East, uh, they've come together. We're trying to evangelize and we can use a soccer as a platform to introduce the gospel to them. Through the creative arts, you don't need to speak their language, they don't need to speak my language, it's a, it's a universal language. Through the dance you suddenly realize you're in the presence of God and it doesn't matter who's watching and uh, because you're actually dancing for God and he does the rest of the work in the hearts of the people. With the creative arts, it's not about self. It's actually about, the, it's about God, it's the message. You're just the vehicle. Beside being a universal language, it can also speak to a hardened heart or a hurting heart. I feel like the doors are opening up since the World Cup has been here. Well, um, this World Cup to us is a blessing because it, it has given us a platform to introduce Christ to the unbelievers. The soccer ball, it's, it's, a, it's a global language. You kick the ball around, everyone knows what's happening. We don't even have to be speaking English and there's a bit of communication, you know. I'm inviting the kids in the area to come and play soccer and then while they finish playing the soccer match, they just share with them, you know, this is why we play soccer. You know, we play for Jesus and we have an opportunity to share with them the gospel. These kids come from very broken homes. Drugs, uh, prostitution, it's all right here. The city's definitely a melting pot for very severe problems. The kids come and they, they don't have a mom or a dad or they maybe have a dad who's alcoholic and they, they beat the kids or maybe they come from a home where it's just the mom and the dad's run away. Kids never hear the word I love you. They, they come to Holiday Club and we show them affection and they, they're sort of overwhelmed by, by all the, the love and the, and the hugs that we give them. They've never been told that they matter. They're always told you're a mistake. Some of those kids have never ever ever been hugged. I was reminded of the prodigal son coming to the father and just being embraced, no questions asked. I didn't ask the kid, you know, why, why? I just came, my arms open, and I was reminded of Jesus doing that for me. So just to see kids smiling every day and just to see them in a place where they're not forced into adulthood, uh, where the kids can just be kids is, you know, one of the biggest just, you know, fruits of the ministry. My heart for this ministry is that the kids who were once never knew what church was like, they would come and fall in love with Jesus and they would tell their friends and it would just be a multiplying effect. Not because we, we're crazy about numbers, but we want our community to be impacted by the gospel of Jesus. The church is not in the four walls. This is not the church. The church is the people. We are the church. There, there is a role that we can play as a church, you know, uh, giving back to the community. Because some people, they want to see Christ in action. So we want to minister to them um, because it's really hard to minister to a person who's hungry. You need to give that person food and then that person will pay attention. I believe that is the same thing that happened in the book of Acts that is happening in South Africa right now. There's so much of a revival. If you go, you go everywhere, Christians are standing up. They are doing these kind of events, evangelizing. They can't keep quiet talking about Christ. We are all one body and as long as we love the Lord Jesus Christ, we can serve him from all different denominations. Tug is also trying to encourage unity and hope. I think those are the two things our country need. I cannot do anything in my own strength. I need God to go ahead.